Welcome back to the channel. Let's explore together. Today, we're checking out Daniel Thrasher when a phone interrupts a p concert pianist. You know, the unacceptable movie theaters, concerts, whatever. Get uh, Silent your dang phones, you know? Especially the people that like are texting people, acting like that big bright light's not bothering everyone else, or the people that literally will pick up their phone. Hello, I'm in a movie. As they walk out, bro, wait till you're outside the theater to pick it up. Call them right back. Who are you people? Hopefully, D Daniel keeps a crossbow in in his piano in this skit. He takes it out and you know enacts some righteous justice in the name of all of us. So anyway, let's see what Daniel says about this phenomenon. Please welcome to the stage, Daniel Thrasher. All right, so we're just playing Turkish March a little sloppily. I, I guess a cell phone is allowed to uh, interrupt this this one. Um, I wonder if he's playing sloppily on purpose or if he, cause this is an older video or if in the, no, there, in the last three years, I don't think he would have gone from this to where I've seen him playing now. I think he's kind of playing a little sloppy on purpose. Maybe. Of course it's that cell phone ring that mid to late nineties satellite phone type ring. <laughs> That for some reason carried into the fully portable cell phone era. Like as we got the smaller ones instead of just the big bricks, you know. And we started to get like the little Motorola's and stuff. This this was the ringtone that just le jumped generations. Uh, turn it off. Infamous from Jurassic Park 3. Cause the one dude's satellite phone's always going off and then he gets swallowed up and you could hear it coming from the stomach of some dinosaur. What a goofy movie. Anyway, the, everyone's getting mad at this point. Sorry, that was me. My bad. Uh, keep playing. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm gonna let that one slide. Personally, I would not have let that one slide. That was, that was the cell phone ring. Da -da -dun -dun, da -da -dun -dun, da -da -dun -dun -dun. Played much, much smoother than the Turkish march. Okay, that run of the Turkish march was a little better. Maybe he was just rusty on Turkish march. I don't know. Why do I care? Don't ask. It's just how these things are going. I don't even know if that's what that song's called. That's just what I remember calling it, and I'm bad with names. And there was a time when I could play it smoother than that. Don't ask me to now. I suck at it now. God, turn it off already. You know what? That's Get the crossbow out. Did you not come prepared? Anyway, let's get a thumbnail with unprepared Daniel. Daniel the dallier when it comes to buying crossbows before going to concert pianos to perform. There is a green hue on me today. Thank you, green screen. Anyway. Close enough. Exasperated Daniel moment and me looking at the green screen reflecting too much green today moment. It's my wife. I actually got to take this one. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, uh, just one sec. Hold on. Hey, babe, what's going on? Get off your phone. You shut your mouth. I'm talking to my wife. What did you say to me? I said I'm talking Crossbow. to my wife. Is that a bow and arrow? Okay. It's a bow and arrow. Let's go. <laughs> Except, damn it. Like every third Daniel Thrasher reaction I do. I make a joke about something that ends up being in the actual skit way too early. And then I get the comments of people saying I watched these beforehand despite doing six freaking reactions a day and having zero time to watch stuff in advance. So I also run a recording studio and make my own music too. If you didn't know, I'm busy. Uh, but I mean, it's a bow and arrow. It's not quite a crossbow, but it's the, the same 
gets the same point across. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to give you the logical reason that we both went for that device. And it has less to do with Daniel and I's similarity and more to do with goofy YouTube things. When I was first thinking of what to say regarding how to handle someone on the phone and concert piano, my initial thought is, uh, you know, more of a traditional bang, bang uh, stick that goes by a name that sounds kind of like bubble gum, you know. But uh, YouTube doesn't like mentions of those types of items, especially not in the context of using them. Especially not in the context of using them in context that people have used them, you know? So I thought, what wouldn't YouTube's robots care about? A crossbow. But it gets the same point across because the entire point of mentioning the boom boom stick is for a joke. And even though a crossbow is equally as lethal in this context, you know, the robots don't care. And they, un and they either don't understand what a crossbow is or understand it's a joke. I believe Daniel had the same mind of the skip, but decided a bow and arrow is a lot less intimidating, threatening, or troublesome to monetization. The more you know about content creators tiptoeing jokes sometimes to match YouTube's friendly practices. Anyway, I am so glad that they got a bow and arrow involved, even if it's not a crossbow, it's the same, same principle at heart. Hey man, chill, please, too late. Ooh. How? How did they let you bring a bow and arrow into the theater? <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, God, you got me right in the stomach. So at least this dude brought the bow instead of the, uh, the pianist who just dallying Daniel not coming prepared. Sorry, babe. I'm almost done here. <sighs> oh, so wait, it's the. Uh, I had that backwards. It's the dude on the phone that brought the bow. God dang it. We failed. Mission failed, gentlemen. Now you stay there, piano man. You know what? Go back to what you were playing before. I could use the noise to drown out this idiot right here. You better not miss a note, piano guy. I paid good money for these tickets. <laughs> I guess that's the end. <laughs> I was waiting for something else to happen. So apparently because the moral lesson is the, the concert pianist needs to come prepared with a crossbow like your boy Scheme told him to. None of this would have happened because he would have brought a bow and arrow to a crossbow fight. and pff, Done. Done. This is back where we had talent shows at the end of Thrasher videos. Let's, let's see. I think it might be worth a try. Oh, am I ready to let this die? Learn songs better with flow. Flow key, that's the thing that's like Guitar Hero, but for piano. All right, so far as the talent show at the end, uh, if I hear one more ukulele girl singing like she's got something in her throat that she's trying to like cough up and she hasn't been able to, uh, I'll be as annoyed as I am right now. I've heard, I've heard all of them. I'm done forever on that style of music. This is three years ago and they still exist. The ukulele girls have not been stopped. Please. Stop giving them attention. I don't care if they're pretty or quirky or whatever other thing. It's it's the style. It, the style must be stopped. It's a pumpkin spice latte in music form. It, it, it's Uggs boots in aesthetic, just generic nonsense that we need to stop allowing happening. Until we explore again, I'll see you next time.